I now give the floor to the representative of Algeria. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to Mr. Grandi for his comprehensive briefing and commend his dedication and his outstanding leadership in supporting and protecting refugees around the world. We assure the High Commissioner of Algeria's steadfast commitment to assisting UNHCR in fulfilling its noble mandate of safeguarding the rights and well-being of refugees and other displaced persons. The issue of refugees remain one of the most significant and pressing challenges facing global humanitarian organization. As the number of the refugees continue to rise year after year, it places an increasing burden on the United Nations and its agencies. This burden is exacerbated by limited resources and donor priorities that often do not align with the urgent needs of this vulnerable population, the majority of whom reside in low and middle-income countries, particularly in Africa. Host countries, despite their limited capacities and resources, bear the brunt of the cost and burden associated with displacement and they spare no effort in caring for displaced persons, regardless of their status. In this context, we stress the need for a comprehensive approach that considers all aspects and dimensions or to ensure optimal protection and assistance for this vulnerable population. We also emphasize the necessity of bridging the funding gap faced by various UN organizations working to support refugees. This requires collective responsibility and adhering to the principle of international solidarity and burden sharing. Mr. President, we condemn the grave violation against refugees and the biased media campaign that tarnish their image. Such action, such action threaten their physical well-being and expose them to inhuman treatment. In this context, we emphasize that refugees are entitled to binding legal protection under international humanitarian law and international refugee law. We strongly condemn the violation and deliberate targeting of the camps of Palestinian refugees in and displaced persons by the Israeli Defense Forces. Yes, the situation in Rafah is just one chapter of the systemic violence carried out over years of occupation aimed at undermining the resilience of refugees and eliminating their right of return as guaranteed by international laws and United Nations resolutions. Mr. President, for nearly half a century, Algeria has hosted 
Sahrawi refugee in the Tindouf camps, awaiting the international communities and especially this council action to enable them to voluntarily return to their land after having exercised their inalienable right to self-determination, which must be achieved through a free and fair referendum organized by the UN through the United Nations Mission for the Referendum in Western Sahara. Algeria spared no effort in meeting the needs of the Sahrawi refugees and calls on donors to shoulder their responsibility and respond to the appeal made by United Nations bodies to address these vital needs. We renew our call to UNHCR to scale up its assistance and to follow the path of the World Food Programme and other international organizations. In conclusion, Mr. President, we reaffirm our support for Mr. Grandi and emphasize that addressing the refugee issue necessitates a collective effort by the whole international community. This effort must align with the principle of solidarity and burden sharing must tackle the root cause of displacement and ensure the most effective assistance and protection for refugee and displaced persons. I thank you. I thank uh, the representative of Algeria for their important statement.